We have the uh, traditional Ramoy here from Reese, coming from Naksu and his trainer boys, so just showing the full respects that he should. Looks like Southpaw versus Orthodox. A lot of rear kicks being thrown. Dan going for the sweep, not quite working. Nice knees from Reese there. Yeah, Reese is very calm in that clinch. Coming from Muxu, I'm gonna just tell you he will be good at it. Dan seems to be pretty happy to work in that clinch. He's holding him in there. Yeah, he got that body lock on and being the shorter guy, I think that's that's probably his best place to be. So it's a fair, fair height advantage that Reese has over him. Nice inside low kick there. Oh, check the second time, going to the body. Reese is one of those other guys, he's still so young, so he just, you know, he's got his whole life ahead of him. And yeah. he's already fighting professional Muay Thai. Yeah, he's got that, that style too, eh? Dan's almost too tough for his own good, I know him quite well. He's had a lot of battles. He just absolutely loves this sport. Dan's very fortunate too, he gets to kind of live and breathe this because he's the full-time, you know, Muay Thai coach at Oceanic and um, also teaches the karate, I believe. Reese is, I mean, Reese is using his range there very well. Yeah, he's, uh, he's, playing, he's playing long man really well and that, that left is just going down the pipe and landing. I'd like to see Dan get his footing underneath him a bit. He's, yeah, he seems to be sort of um, walking forward instead of, you know, shuffling those feet forward and keeping in his strong stance. Nice punches from Dan. Nice counter. Reese is playing that uh, outside game really, really well. He's got Dan kind of guessing if he's going to go high or low with his punches at the moment. Even though Dan did land a good shot in their pocket there. They are, yeah, that straight left from Reese seems to be the. Uh, Probably the deciding factor so far in that round. It just landed multiple times. Yeah, 100%. I love watching um, the Thai trainers get animated in the corners. <laughs> and look, when you've had you've went around the 300 fight mark, you might have something to share with the world.
that low kick's back on that low kick. Yeah. I think Dan's trying to use that low kick to get into range. But that, that's that left hook, I mean left straight, sorry, coming down the middle there. He's just going to keep him back. He's doing quite well in the clinch, yeah. but Reese is not bothered by it. It's really hard to move around a guy that much taller than you, especially when you're trying to play that high tie sort of plum style. Yeah, there's a big difference. Um, when Dan gets his time in the clinch, he's doing pretty well with his head position, but yep. once Reese gets his frame in, it's uh, Dan's starting to struggle a bit more. Yeah, um, Dan's head position in there looks almost more like um, an MMA style of where you put your face and turn him against the cage, but you know, like you said, when Reese gets those frames in, you just can't do that anymore. Yeah, exactly what I was going to say, Chris. I've had a couple of MMA rounds in my time. Yeah, I can remember them. <laughs> well, Reese is he's looking for those elbows all the time, but one good thing he's doing, he's not over committing, so he doesn't miss badly. Dan's doing okay, actually, for, but it's, I don't like that he's accepting poor positioning. Oh, that second knee landed pretty well. He's, uh, he's managing to pull that head down now, and when he breaks the posture like that, it's going to be really hard for Dan to, to stay strong in there. Now, that, that kind of clinch work in a corner can just win your rounds. And it also wears on your cardio system quite heavy, and we've got a younger fighter versus an older fighter here. Yeah, and, and being leaned on and just, just worked in that corner. Dan's got to get his feet back under him. He's a bit gassed here. Yeah, yeah he's, he's, his feet are giving him away a little bit at the moment, and he's just he's trying to walk forward. And like you said before, I think Dan's just too tough for his own good sometimes. He just he wants to be in this fight, but he's just got to tidy those footwork up so he doesn't look like he's falling over. Hasn't been focused on the sport quite as much as what he would have liked to. Reese is just, just doing a great job again of just staying long and using the tools that he was God given. Nice teeth, nice face teeth by Dan there. Yeah. But yeah, you're right. Um, Reese is using his long weapons and faking. Those, uh, those knees that are just whistling past his face here in the clinch is just, they're fight enders and they're only just missing. Dan's doing some subtle things in those really, really bad positions and he's blocking the knees with his elbows. I just, I wish he wouldn't do that. I wish he'd change position instead. Yeah, he's, he's doing a lot to stay safe, but not doing much to get out of there. Yeah. Reese is piling it on now. Nice elbow there from Dan. I think, um, Dan's karate background is actually keeping him in this fight. That ability to throw those feet up with with little or no space, he's been able to just keep Reese enough away when he's trying to unload on him. 
Sorry guys, I'm actually really enjoying this fight. Dan's got so much heart and part of me wants to see the underdog come back, but. Look, I'm not ready to call Dan old, because I've got a lot of years on him, but he's, um. He's, oh, head kick from Dan. Yeah, he's definitely in this fight. Good timing on that right tip, Dan. Uh, Reese is just clinical this round. I can't take nothing away from him. Beautiful Muay Thai from Reese's Nuxu gym there. Nice timing and movement and range control. Great base from uh, the red corner. Yep. Yeah. Reese's footwork in comparison to what we've seen tonight is just. It's really good. He's got a nice wide stance right now, and it just allowing him to unload here. Yeah, on his attacks, even in his flurries, he's never losing his balance. Proudly brought to you by Webstar Mining Services. After three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard. They have come back with a unanimous decision to the red corner, Reese Ainsley.